Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Samsung Magician SSD software that you can use to manage and update your Samsung SSDs. And this works on Samsung SATA SSDs and their NVMe SSDs. So here's the web page for Samsung SSD Magician software. And you just go to where it says Download Files, and then you go to the Magician software, and currently the latest version is 6.3. So I'll go ahead and download that. And it's a fairly small file. It comes down in a zip file. After you've downloaded it, you should find a zip file in your downloads folder. This is what it looks like on my machine. It's about 54 megabytes. And you can just right click and pick extract all. And then you can get that zip file unzipped to get the setup executable, which will be right here. The next step is to go ahead and install a program. So just double click on this and you'll get a little dialog box. And then it's gonna kick off the setup program. And depending on how fast your machine is, this may take a few seconds to start up. So now we got the setup wizard. Just next, you have to accept the agreement. You have to accept the second agreement for the EU privacy notice. And then you go ahead and pick your preferences here and then let it install. And if your machine's fairly fast, it'll go quickly like this. A slower machine will take more time. So now it's ready to go. So we'll go ahead and kick off Magician and see what it looks like. And the first time it starts up, it'll take a little bit longer because it's gonna scan all your drives. And then what it shows you, on my system, I've got six different drives that it can see. Right here, you can see that it shows six. And I've got a 980 Pro and then I have another 980 Pro, one terabyte, and then a 980 or 970 Evo Plus, and then I have an older 860 Evo. So I have four Samsung drives, and then I have a couple of other drives. So there's an Intel drive here and a Western Digital hard drive, and these will show up in Magician, but a lot of the things that you might want to do with Magician don't work except with Samsung drives. When Magician first opens, it's going to be on the drive information page like you see here. And you can scroll through and see all the drives that Magician can see in your system. And you can see the drive health that shows how many terabytes or gigabytes that have been written in the life of that drive. And that's really important for NAND flash SSDs, depending on what kind of NAND flash you're using and the firmware and a lot of other variables. There's a finite amount of writes that you can do to NAND flash before it becomes read only. And that's usually a lot longer than you're going to have the drive. But if you're concerned about that, this drive health will monitor that for you. And this will start turning red as it's getting closer to running out of its writes. It also shows you the temperature. And so it's complaining that my C drive right here, my first drive is a little bit on the hot side. And you can also see how much space you've used and how much free space you have out of the total formatted space you have available. And if you've ever run the built-in benchmark, the results for that would show right here. So you get that information and the drive information. And then if you wanna dive a little bit deeper, you can go to drive details. And this lets you get more information about a particular drive. So it shows you the drive health and the temperature and then the serial number and then in this case, it's showing the interface that it's using. So this is a PCIe Gen 4 drive, and it's using four lanes. That's what this means, and that's good. And then it shows you the firmware version, and it tells you that's the latest version, which is also what you want to see. And then it tells you the NVMe driver. And you might be thinking, oh, that's, that's not good. You don't want the Microsoft driver. Well, for a Samsung... 980 Pro, there is no NVMe driver from Samsung, so that's what you're going to get. But if you switch to a Samsung 970 Evo Plus like this, you can see that I've got the Samsung NVMe driver installed, which is not going to get there automatically. You've got to do that yourself. And then this is a PCIe Gen 3 with four lanes, and it's also on the latest firmware. And it's also complaining in this case about it being a little bit on the hot side. And you can see more information about the drive and how much space you've used and how much is free. And if you're curious, you can also go in, I'm just popping through different drives here. 
there's a classify files button here. And I didn't know what that did until I played with it. But what it does is it scans all the files on the drive. And then it has a breakdown. And this one's not very interesting since it's almost empty. But it would tell you basically whether it looks like it's images or videos or audio or other things. So if you've got more things on a particular drive, it helps you understand what's using your space. So that's kind of interesting. And you can pop through the different drives here and look at them in more detail. So we'll go to this one terabyte Samsung and classify its files just for the heck of it. And that came back pretty fast. And once it's done, you know, it shows us that it's just miscellaneous files that are on there. So the next thing you can do is go to the performance benchmark page and you can pick an individual drive and go ahead and click the start button. And it's gonna go and measure the sequential performance for reads and writes and then the random performance for reads and writes. And it will keep a record of when it does this so you can see if your performance is degrading over time. And the reason why that might happen is when NAND flash SSDs get closer to being full, the performance tends to deteriorate a little bit. And also, if there's something just wrong with your drive, it's starting to fail, or if it's overheated, its performance will be lower. So having a record of it can be handy here. So it's already come back with 7,124 megabytes per second for sequential reads. And then it's gonna pretty soon finish up with the writes, and we'll see what that is. So I sped this up five times, and you can see what it's doing. It measures the sequential read performance, then the random read performance, then the sequential write performance, and then finally the random write performance. And this took a, a little over two minutes to finish in real time. So once the benchmark is done, you'll have a record of it for each drive like you see here. And if you run it again, it'll show up in your history. So let's switch to a different drive and do a few other things here. Let's switch to this 970 Evo and let's go to diagnostic scan. And you've got several different choices here. You can do a short scan or a full scan or smart self-test. These two choices take several minutes, so I'm not gonna do that right now. We'll do a short scan. And this goes through and runs prepare on the drive, and then it's gonna actually scan it. And you want it to come back with all blue boxes. So depending on how fast your drive is and how big it is, this runs pretty quickly. Typically on a drive this size, less than 20 seconds. So that came back with nothing bad found, and that's what we wanna see for this. So the next thing we'll do is switch down to the over provisioning page. And this lets you change the amount of space that's set aside for over provisioning. And over provisioning is just reserved space that's not available to you, but it's available to the drive to manage its housekeeping. So when it does wear leveling activity and trim activity, it has more space to work with. And if you're concerned about the longevity of your drive, giving it more space can be a good idea. If you wanna have more space to work with and you don't really care about the life as much, you can reduce that. So by default, it uses 10% of your drive as reserved space and you can change that right here if you wanted to. The next page is performance optimization. And depending on what kind of a drive you have, different things will not be enabled or they will be enabled. So you can go in and do the optimized drives button, and that'll take you out to Windows to do some stuff. We're not gonna do that, but one thing I wanna point out here is on newer versions of Samsung Magician, they have a new option called full power mode that certain NVMe drives can take advantage of. So if we switch back to the 980 Pro, notice that you can enable full power mode on this drive if you want to, and if you switch this switch over, it'll come up and warn you that you've got to reboot the system in order to take advantage of that. So I'm not going to do that right now, but if you do have a 980 Pro, that's something you should probably turn on and see how much it helps your performance. Next, we move on to the data management features of Samsung Magician. The first one is secure array. So if you're going to be selling an SSD to somebody and you want to make sure that all the data on it is truly erased, you can use this feature. 
And of course, it's going to erase everything that's on there and you have to create a bootable USB drive to do it. So that's a feature that's built into this software. You also have PSID revert. So if you have encrypted storage, you can erase what's on it and then unencrypt the storage at the hardware level using the PSID value that's printed on the front label of the drive. And then you can also go in and switch on encryption to use BitLocker with Windows with this feature. And then finally, down here we have an update tab and this checks to see whether your Magician software is up to date or not. In my case it is. It also shows you what's going on with the firmware and all the Samsung drives that the system can see. So in my case, they're all up to date, but if they weren't, it would show here. And also, if you were just at one of these other screens, this update button would have a little in by it if you had any required updates that Magician had noticed. So that's pretty much what this software does. It's very, very useful. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out.